Hello, and thank you for joining us today as we continue our series on Bible prophecy. We are looking at the writing on the wall, the writing on the wall in Daniel. The writing on the wall said, Daniel 5, 25, and this, the writing that was written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Aparshan. That is the writing on the wall and the interpretation in the next verse. This, the interpretation of the thing, Mene, God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. And we are saying that this, the words of God are numbered. When we look them up, when we look them up in the Strong's Concordance, we see that the word numbered, 44838-4483, shares the same number with G4483, G being the Greek word for the, the words from the New Testament. This is found in the Strong's Concordance. We've looked it up. Now, let's take a look at it really quick. I want to make sure everybody knows where we're coming from. This is from just a browser here using the Strong's numbers. This is Daniel 5.26. When I click on the Strong's to go ahead and show me the Strong's numbers, it'll come up. And you see that behind the words there are numbers. These are Strong's numbers. And when we look them up, you can get a better understanding of the word. And you can actually see the word that was used there in the original text. This is the word mina. It's Aramaic. It is H4483. Now what I've done is compare that with the word that it shares a number with. The word that it shares a number with in the Greek because this is just an index. So there's an H1, an H2, an H3, an H all the way up into the six or seven thousands of H's, five thousands, I'd have to double check. H4483 is this word. There is a corresponding word in the Greek from the New Testament that is G4483. So this one we said is mena, that's numbered. So let's look at the comparison to the G. I'm just going to type a G in here to get G4483. G4483. Let me go ahead and pull that up and we see it is reo. It is a verb, reo. It means speak, say, speak up, command. Literally, it means to pour forth, to utter. And this is the word that's used, spoken of by the Lord's prophet. So this occurs 27 times and over 20 times, occurs 26 times, 26 times. And over 20 of those times, it is directly speaking of the Bible. In other words, the word spoken of the Lord by the prophet. That is a reference to the Bible text. So we can see in the first couple uses here, spoken of by the Lord of the prophet saying, this was fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet. Again in Matthew 2.17, that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, spoken by the prophet, spoken by the prophet. You see, this is specifically talking about the words that were spoken by the prophets that ended up being what we call the Bible. That is what this word means. Now let's look at the writing on the wall. And this, the writing that was written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Upperson. This, the interpretation of the thing, Mene, God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Now, the next one says, Tekel, thou art Thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. We want to look up and see what this word wanting means. What is this word wanting? We're going to use the same thing, the Strong's Concordance. That word wanting, when you look up, to find out what is the problem? What is the what is lacking? What is wanting? What is deficient? Why is the writing on the wall? What is it about? Thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting, the verse says. When you look it up, H2627 is the number, and that corresponds to a Greek number from the New Testament. Wanting is numbered. That The Hebrew word chasir is numbered with the Greek word cataclysmos, which is, which is an inundation, a deluge. G2627 is a deluge. That word is translated as flood. In the New Testament, it is translated as flood. It occurs four times, and there's two times in Matthew 24, 38, and 39. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So we see that this is a reference to Noah's flood. And in this verse, it's talking about the end times. It's talking about the return of Jesus, the, the days that 
the return of Jesus is that the coming of the Son of Man, that will be similar to the flood of Noah. And we can see that there is a flood on our land. It is a flood of electromagnetic waves. Now, if we just, all I did is do the same thing here, the same thing with this verse from here we have Daniel 5 26 thou art weighed in the balances and found wanting if I open up the Strong's numbers we will see again that this is H2627 I click on that you see Chasir Aramaic lacking wanting deficient now I'm gonna check it only occurs here in this verse I'm gonna change this to a G get G2627 and that opens up to cataclysmos and we see that is of course four times the flood of Noah's deluge the deluge the flood and that is what the writing on the wall is saying now if we continue to look at it, it says and this the writing that was written mene mene tekel uparsin this the interpretation of the thing mene God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting and we see that we are weighed in the balances in this day and age. The kingdom is numbered. God's word has been numbered. He has written it on the wall. And we are weighed in the balances and are found wanting. And that word wanting, that word wanting goes along with the flood. The flood is upon this land. It is a flood of electromagnetic waves. It is a flood all around us. It is a flood. So this day and age, this day and age has been numbered. The writing is on the wall for our generation, and we can see it. We can see it with our eyes. We can perceive it with our minds. So we know now. We know that Jesus is on his way. He has put the writing on the wall. The writing on the wall testifies against the modern technology, against the electrical system, against the Wi-Fi, against the radio waves, against the things that have become the vine of the people of the last days. They have built a vine, they are the branches in it, they have produced much fruit, but it is not of the Lord. And we thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. You can see all my videos on yeshuaiscoming.com or on signoffire.com. Thank you once again, until next time.